Good morning, it's 645 right now. Fire up the Threshers. The Harvest Festival starts up today and it's running through this weekend. It is centered around two things, historic agricultural machinery and great food. Shane Wells is in Jordan as they gear up for day one. We can see her, they're, they're cranking up right now. Good morning. It is rolling, good morning. And I have to tell you, this is the most beautiful morning. And then we have this older machinery going and it just feels like we step back into another time for sure. Uh, that's the whole idea behind this. Dan Wyman is with the Scott Carver Threshers. Okay, give us the backstory. How did this become such a big deal 58 years in the making now? So 58 years ago, a couple of gentlemen that did this for a living decided they wanted to maybe try to do it one more time. So they would, uh, they got the machine together. One had the machine, the other gentleman had steam engine. And these are the two actual pieces of equipment, correct? This one was brought in, but the separator is original. Okay. And then it just kept going. Yeah, they, and just, they did it one year and another year, and next thing you know, here we are 58 years later. So what are these machines doing right now? What are we watching? So right now, the young gentlemen are pitching in bundles of rye. Okay. And what the machine does is it'll take the actual grain that's in the heads of the rye, and it'll separate it from the straw and the chaff. And that's what you get to take your grain market, and that's what ends up in your, your bread or whatever like that. And what we see shooting out the top right there, that's the... That's all the extra straw, okay. um, straw and chaff. And when it, the engine has the belt that keeps it running. Yep. Accurate? Yep, the engine provides the power for the machine. Okay, this is fascinating. And, and I'm getting, guessing it's getting harder, too, to have people who know how to run this original equipment. We do a pretty good job of trying to keep people interested. Uh, people seem to keep coming back, so it's, uh, it's definitely worth getting into. So if people want to come this weekend, obviously you can see this, but there's a whole lot more. These grounds are really fantastic. It's almost like you've set up an entire historic village yep. here. Yeah, so we got a lot of different things going on. Uh, we have a really cool print shop, uh, different activities for the kids in there. Uh, we have a ladies' building. They're featuring uh, antique aprons in Canada this year. Our stationary steam building that uh, has a bunch of industrial-type steam engines in it. That's really cool to see. Uh, really just a lot going on. And then I mentioned the good food earlier. So I know you have a pancake breakfast starting up, well, probably in about 15 minutes. In a couple minutes, <laughs> yep. The pancake breakfast will be fired up. Uh, pretty reasonable price. Um, and is that today, Saturday and Sunday, too, yep, the pancakes? Okay, okay, so you can come get yourself a pancake. Ten bucks gets you in. Ten bucks gets you in for all three days. Uh, okay. Children 12 and under free. So it's really uh, affordable for the weekend. For sure. And then people like you are around. They can yep. actually tell us what this equipment was used for. You know a lot of the origin stories of the actual machinery as well. Yeah, we encourage people, if they do come out, definitely don't be afraid to ask questions. That's, well, that's why we're here, is to show people how this is done. I can see this, I, I think of my son coming and just being like, what is all this incredible? Yeah. And your chance to see it all in one place. Get your steps in and everything. Again, we're in Jordan, so we're kind of across the street from the Scott County Fairgrounds. And this is going to be firing up here at 7 a.m. with the pancake breakfast. So we'll go check that out and get ourselves some pancakes here the next hour. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Love it. Love it. Thank you, Shane. Yeah.